<clears throat> what is up, fellers? Good morning. Pardon me, I have allergies a little bit. What sucks is I gotta go outside and do a bunch of fucking yard work today, like all day. Like all day. Like I'm doing serious work. I had to trim the hedges out front. Neighborhood Association was bitching. Those useless assholes. All they do is complain. So I had to do some trimming and, ooh, that was a workout, man. Um, but I trimmed a ton of material, a ton. I got a lot of wood, sticks, logs. Some of the log chunks were worth getting, so I wasn't completely pissed off that I had to do this because I got some good log chunks, dude. Good chunks that we're going to use for the turtles as like basking spots and stuff. So that is very cool. But most of it was useless trash. That, well, not useless, um, but it's got to decompose. It's got to break down and all that jazz. And that takes forever. Uh, but some of it is so huge. I wish I had a mulcher, but my experience with mulchers has been ass. We got this cheap-ass Sunbro model. It was like $70, right, on Amazon. And... <sighs> It can grind up, like, sticks a little bit. That's it. It can't grind up very large sticks, and you're constantly jamming it, and it's not very good. So it was a piece of shit. So I think we threw it away or something. And, um... Sorry, I'm drinking a... Bubbly... Sparkling water... Cherry flavor not bad um but uh what was i talking about um then we got uh another mulcher a gas powered one you put gas into it and you turn it on and you crank it you know like a fucking mower and uh yeah vroom vroom ready to grind up your wood wrong it didn't work the piece of shit was like broken so we had to fucking return it what a defective piece of crap so yeah, that sucks, and we spent like $500 on that one, but at least we were able to return it. But what a piece of shit. Like, God damn it, motherfuckers. So yeah, that's my experience with mulchers so far. I think the best thing to do that we're going to try next is rent one from Home Depot or whatever. Just rent one for, for a little bit. I think you can do stuff like that, so never done anything like that before, but maybe they have a much nicer one that actually does fucking work. What I need is the thing that they killed that motherfucker in uh, Fargo with, you know? That's what I need. I got some big-ass logs to grind. But I like the big-ass logs. I want to keep them, so I don't care. Big-ass logs are nice. If you keep turtles and tortoises like I do, yeah. They make great for obstructions and stuff. And tortoises, they exercise a lot, especially the bigger ones. They need to maintain strength so they can haul their big-ass bodies around. So it's very important for larger tortoises like sulcatas, aldabra tortoises, galapagos tortoises, especially them, to get good exercise. Uh, but also the middle of the road sized tortoises like, like even redfoots or uh, leopards or radiated tortoises, uh, even Burmese black, uh, uh, or what, what's that one called? Um, Burmese star tortoise gets actually kind of hefty. Yeah. Little football looking motherfucker. Yeah, those tortoises, you want them to, uh, <clears throat> you want them to get good exercise. You want them all to get decent exercise, of course, but it's especially important for them. And a good way to do it is two things obstructions in the environment, like little hilly areas, maybe a log that is split in half, and you put it on the ground halfway, and they can push up against it pull themselves up onto it, that kind of thing. Um, although there are some risks that you don't want to have happening. You don't want to put obstructions at, at such an angle that maybe they could fall over and get stuck on their back. That sucks. I mean, it's going to happen anyway. Tortoises are clumsy sometimes. Just the other day, I found one upside down. Who was it? Kirby. Had to help old Kirby out. That was funny. And uh, um, 
but you want to try your best to keep accidents from happening. Because, you know, not to sound like a dick, but they're kind of stupid in a lot of ways. <laughs> Tortoises are extremely brilliant in many other ways. Like, their s sense of smell is dog-like and beyond. Uh, their sa eyesight is terrible. Um, hearing is terrible. Their vibration sensing through the ground, though, is extremely good. Uh, sense of smell, though, is, of course, their best feature. Um, oh, yeah, and they're also sneaky. They're really good at hiding and stuff. In the wild, especially, of course. So, yeah, they have advantages and disadvantages. And then, of course, armored shell to prevent weird critters from fucking with them. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here. What the fuck was I talking about? Um... I'm getting my character ready for the DLC, dude. I can't believe I'm going to do this. I hope I don't regret it. $40 is kind of a lot. And <clears throat> the only reason I'm doing this is I'm hoping there's some kind of random weird feature or a few f features that I just love personally and can't put down and can't stop fucking with and I just really enjoy. Hopefully I find something like that in this DLC. Um... And then, of course, they'll try to patch it and nerf it and make everything different and just kind of fuck with everything that, that is. And that sucks, but, you know, I won't get the updates. I'll just play offline. I, I wish I could play this game online more, but there's two main factors of why I don't play this game online. And that is, factor one is it's um, imbalanced as fuck. And factor two... Well, actually, there's three factors. Factor two is uh, the lag. Oh, my God. It's choppy and the frames and... Oh, God, you know. And I used to play Halo a lot online back in the day, the Bungie Halo games, and those had horrific lag a lot of the time, too. God, it was annoying. If you didn't have hosts, like... Jesus. Like, that sucked. But, uh, yeah, in, uh, these Souls games with the, uh, shittier hit detection, hit boxes and stuff, Elden Ring does a better job of it, and so does, like, Sekiro and some of these newer FromSoft games. But still, you know, not the greatest shit ever, just saying. Oh, fuckers. Wow, I killed that dude. Gotcha, motherfucker. Alright, what am I doing in this game? Oops, I didn't mean to drink that. No big deal. I need to farm these stupid atlas blooms. I used so many of them in my uh, attempts at, at Melania. I fought her maybe like 120 times over the past two weeks, three weeks, when I decided to test my skill against her in melee solo. I did pretty good, man. Not bad. I'm a decent Elden cringe player. So anyways, uh, what was I saying? I'm terrible at making videos. I can never th stay focused on a topic that I'm talking about. Especially when I play a game. I'm just too busy and shit. I got too much crap going on. And of course I do. I live in capitalism. Work, work, work. You know, just work, work, work. And when you're younger, it's just school, 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 and maybe some work, because fuck you, kids. <laughs> mm. 
Man, I saw the most annoying shit ever, dude. There's this viral video of uh, this one lady who is crying and complaining that she can't find uh, friends or, or someone to spend her life with, you know. Like, yeah, that's sad, right? Feeling alone and shit. Like, I get it. I got a few people that I really care about that I'm really lucky to have in my life. If you subtracted them from my life, my life would be infinitely worse. And maybe I would kill myself. That bad. So I get it. If you don't have your peoples, you're fucking alone and depressed. It sucks. So I felt bad for this lady. But she said something that was, like, troubling, though. She said um, she was in an Uber, and the lady driving the Uber was some, like, crazy cat lady. and She was nice and whatever, but... Apparently, this sad woman didn't really care for this crazy cat lady. And in her rambling commentary, she said, One day I'm gonna be just like that lady. <laughs> Implying that it's bad to be some older lady who drives an Uber, you know? Like, fuck you. <laughs> That's some classist ass shit right there, dude. Don't talk like that. Now, I don't think she meant it, really. Probably was just emotional and in the moment and said some offensive shit without even thinking about it. It happens. So, I'm gonna let that slide. But just pointing that out. Like, no, don't talk like that, lady. That's fucked up shit. We all say and, say and do shit we don't mean from time to time. Oh, I need to buy some of these Gollum magic arrows. Yeah, how do I do that again? There's like that weird mage up in the north or whatever. No, you got... It's funny, he, has, he says he has little to offer when he's, he's literally offering me the arrows that I use to just decimate everything in this game. <laughs> Get decimated, motherfuckers! <laughs> Chaching. All right, what am I doing in this game now? How else can I get even more ready for Elden Cringe DLC? See, I'm already at Moog. Right here. So right when the DLC comes out, I can go up there, kill Moog, and get started. Hmm. Where should I go? What should I do? I know I need to farm some more stupid ass Atlas Blooms. But wasn't there something else I was gonna do? I think yeah, over here I was gonna get some poison blooms or whatever they're fucking called. How many of those raw meat dumplings do I have? A good bit. 900. That's good. In the updated version, they only let you carry three at a time instead of ten. So in the unpatched version, you get so much more health if you farm those things like I have. Because I beat the game a bunch of times and picked up those suckers along the way every time, or a lot of the time anyway, and yeah, I was able to get up to 999, more than enough to run through the entire game basically, without having to use them that often. Same thing with the starlight shards that I'm collecting, they slowly regenerate your mana, in an emergency situation they come in handy. Like if you're stuck in a labyrinth and you've been fighting a lot, getting lost a lot, and uh, getting hurt a lot, and maybe maybe you need a little more health. Well, there's alternatives. And then there's also the warming stone and golden heal spell. And uh, you can also carry a talisman that slowly regenerates your health. You can not equip it and then 
when you really need to equip it. Step away from the game for a while, come back a few minutes later, you're at, you're at full health or whatever. You can do shit like that to uh, heal yourself. So there's all kinds of weird ways to heal yourself in the game. Use the Blasphemous Blade. Use it on wild animals. <laughs> Some fucked up shit. Yeah, but here in a second I'm gonna water the lawn and take care of the tortoises. It's gonna be a nice day. Nothing's gonna ruin my day. I don't like my day being fucking ruined. You know, the longer you live under capitalism and work all the fucking time, the more hateful you become and uh, impatient you become and, uh, like, goofy. Like, I'm a goofy motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm not killing any bosses. That's right. Ow, fucker, that hurt. Slammed me good, that bitch. Slam your mom for that fuck nut. <laughs> so some of the gamers said this trick works, um, how, how good does it work? It says you jump and you hit this uh, wall three times. hit it a bunch of times, is it going to work, or is that an unpatched version thing? I mean, a, a, a patched version thing. Oh, I know, it does kind of work, look. <laughs> They're all over there, nice. Uh, stupid birds. Haha, uh -huh, you missed, dumb bird. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, stupid bird, got you. Oh no, poison! <laughs> you fucker. Let me breathe that shit. Bastard. Alright, what am I doing now? Oh, I shouldn't even be up here. I need to go to the poison bloom selling merchant guy because, you know, the, what do you call it, uh, these things, they're hard to come by. Yeah, How, can I craft a bunch of them? How many can I craft? Ooh, I can craft 50 of them. <laughs> that sucks. I need more cave moss. I guess I need to farm cave moss. Fuck! But I can at least make a lot. Exceeded items you can place in your chest? What? I have too many items? God damn it. God damn this fucking game. I don't understand the inventory system in the game. It's like weird and glitchy in the unpatched version. I'm always constantly running out of... Places to fucking put shit. Whoa, that was a good wall jump. Super Mario would be impressed. I'm gonna smack your face. Fuck you. Stupid ass dragon. Uh oh, am I gonna make it? Nice.
Epic. We. Those are fun. They should put like 50 more of them in the game. Got to get those. Starlight shards are really handy. I got like 400 of them. I think I'm good. If you got several hundred of a thing, you're probably good. You probably have enough. Couldn't hurt to farm a little more, though. Who knows how destroyed in the DLC I will be. Because it's going to be a very different feeling game. You know? it's gonna be, I, I'm going from the unpatched version to the most current version. What the fuck? What I'm hoping for, though, like I said, is that there'll be some things that people don't catch, that the de developers didn't catch, and, uh, oh shit, what do you know? The game's kind of broken, and there's some weird, glitchy, hilarious crap that you can abuse. Maybe some overpowered stuff. Maybe some underpowered stuff. Who knows? We'll see. I just hope I like it for whatever reason. A lot of the time you never know why you'll like a game. You just kind of do. Sometimes you'll hate it at first and then you like it. Sometimes you liked it at first and then you grow tired of it and never want to play it again. You just never know. Uh oh. <laughs> that was funny. There he is. Yep. You wanna go, man? Let's go, bro. Got you good right there, didn't I, fucker? Thanks for the sword. Yoink. Carrying too many dragon hearts, I gotta spend them. Alright, how do I reduce my inventory? I guess I gotta manage it. I'm running out of fucking space for crap. Guess I gotta manage it, motherfucker. I'm always managing the inventory. It's always filling up and I have to manage it somehow. Sucks. Uh-oh, it's the big dude. Oh man, he's got a flaming sword. Fuck you and your flaming sword, dude. You're a joke. I'll kill you. Uh-oh, his squad is coming at me. Alright, I'll have to carefully dispatch these enemies. Well, well, well. Got him good. I don't think they drop anything too important. Gotta get these starlight tier shard thing over here. 
Yeah, I gotta manage my inventory. I wonder what else bullshit I gotta do before, um... The DLC comes out. The DLC comes out, uh... What is it? Next... Not next Friday, but the Friday afterwards. So it's like two more weeks? That sucks. I'm kind of hyped for it, actually. Just because... We're in a fucking video game desert, dude. I just saw that Summer Games event hosted by Jeff uh, Keeleyberg. Yeah, that fucking dickhead. Dorito Pope himself. That fucking corporate shill. God, that guy's a joke. Why is he, like, hailed as so, some great fucking piece of shit? I, I swear to God. It's fucking annoying. Why are people so stupid? An, obvi an obvious charlatan bad person is right before you, and we're just going to ignore that. Although there'll be some good news, um, <laughs> there's some good news, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, die ah, you bug, um, in the unpatched version, the great sword, and, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, you know, the big ass great sword, what, what is it called, the one that looks like cloud sword from Final Fantasy, <laughs> Uh, and the fingerprint shield is not in the game. Yes. The fingerprint shield is not in the fucking game. Isn't that terrible? <clears throat> so we're going to go down to that location to be ready to get the fingerprint shield ASAP. But we're not allowed to kill bosses. So I guess I'll get right before uh, Moog down there. So here we go, let's do it. Can we just jump over this? Oh wait, no, this is the wrong way. I fucked up already, god damn it. Oh. It's hard to remember where to go in these fucking games. Too big, too much shit to remember. shot. Shoot at me, will you? Prick. Alright, I think it's right here. There it is. Ah, at least there's a rune arc down here. Nice. Funny that the entrance to this giant area is just through this one well in the ground. But you know it's a big deal when they tell you it's a totally new area that you're exploring. Which way do I go? I forget. There's like two ways to go. Straight ahead and... I think straight ahead. Yeah, because we're just trying to get to Moog there. So, let's just go straight ahead. Leave me alone, rats. I'm not hurting you. You guys don't hurt me. We're all good. 
silly reds. Yeah, I think this does help with the uh, the sight lines. I remember coming down the stair that that ladder last time, and he immediately attacked me. So yeah, I'm digging the uh, stealth mode. I think it's kind of cool. I had determination last time, and I think determination's nice. I think it does help deliver more damage. But at the same time, it's like, it's not that handy. It just gives you the first, like, edge attack, and I don't know. Maybe I'll switch to it if I feel like I'm getting destroyed. But look, see, I think I'm a little stealthier. These fuckers are having a hard time tracking my ass. And it lasts, like, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. How long does this shit last? Am I going the right way? I can never remember where to go. This is wrong, isn't it? I love how the healing spell works on those fuckers. That is pretty fucking cool. Put those bitches in check. Those wily zombie fucks. Alright, but this is obviously the wrong fucking way. I think it was that second hole back there. Or maybe it was this way? Yeah, it's this way. Ow, slugs. Yes, this is the correct way. Right, okay. Yep. We're on track now, motherfucker. Ready to gut you, sir. You're done, son. Ow, he breathed shit on me. That was annoying. Oh, there's a guy up here waiting for me. Ow, that hurt. Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Come on, guys. Bring it. <laughs> oh, man. Too smart for that, are you? I see how it is. Oh shit, I'm car not carrying the right weapon. Uh oh. But <laughs> maybe I can ditch these assholes. Ow. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Got away. Fuck you guys. Can't climb. Nice. G 
Get ready for it, bitches. Cause here I come, motherfuckers. Here I come, bitches. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, my God. That was fucking epic, dude. Dude. Yeah, I'm proud of that move. That was pretty sick. Slash the shit out of those fuckers with that one. Oh man, I don't want to lose my my runes. I need to buy those golem arrows still. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to... Not the golem arrows, those weird magic arrows. But I think they're called the golem arrows in the updated version. It's so frustrating to keep track of all this shit. But I wanted to make sure I had plenty of those because they might come in handy in the uh, updated version. I don't know what I'm getting into, you guys. Hopefully it's not something too frustrating and stupid. Alright. So I don't want to lose my shit, so I'm going to equip one of these. And hopefully I make this jump. Ah, oh, fucked it up. I completely fucked it up. Maybe I'll live. Maybe I'll live. Uh, no. Hey, if I saved and quitted, would I still be alive or would that count? Or... I wonder about that. Just curious. Let's do it again. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. Oh, I, did I not open the gate? Oh, wait, no, it's over here. That's right. See, I get turned around. I don't know where I'm going in this fucking place full of these weird fat guys. God, y'all are weird and big and creepy looking. Strange. We gotta make this jump. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. Man, I'm doing bad. I'm doing bad. Yeah, what sucks about this glitch is uh, it's one of those things. Sometimes you get it right, sometimes you struggle with it. Because you got to, like, land just right, and then right when you land, you got to, uh, what do you call it? Right when you land, you got to roll real fast. Oh, see, I always get turned around. Goddamn, I don't know why I keep thinking it's over there. Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> that was funny shit. Man, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong here? I did it. I did it. <sighs> Finally. Alright, and now I need to go get those arrows from, uh... What's that one place called? Um, Car Carina... Car Gina Carano Manor. Oh, but I gotta beat the boss there. Yeah, I have to. That's the only way to uh, progress. Shit, I didn't think about that. To get to those arrows. Because if I get the patch version... And uh, they don't sell the arrows there in mass. I'm fucked. So I have to do this. 
Or maybe I should just say fuck it, because I already do have a good bit of those arrows still. I have 400. So you check it out. I have 400. Where are the arrows at? Here we go. Yeah, 427. So if I do do this, then... Maybe I could just start a new playthrough. Maybe I should just do that. Start a new playthrough and... Because I, I didn't take this into consideration. And the game doesn't come out until a few more... Weeks anyway, so I still have time to get ready. You know, I was actually thinking about getting a PS5 just for this game, dude. Seriously. PS5 just for this game. Because I know it would run better if I play it in PS4 mode. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing that. That's how much I like playing the unpatched version. That I was thinking about doing that. Kind of insane, but... Is it really? I mean... PS5 is kind of banging these days. They got Tekken. That's a decent game. I'll probably get that. Probably won't play it online. Don't feel like paying for online or anything like that. But it's a decent fighter, so I'll check it out. Uh, there's um, the Silent Hill 2 remake coming out. Oh, I'll definitely get it just because it's a remake. But I'm not getting it at full price. I don't think they've done a good enough job to warrant that. And we'll see. If it comes out and it really sucks, then I'll probably just ride it off completely. But, uh, yeah. If it's, like, cheap for, like, 10 or 20 bucks one day, yeah, I'll get it. If it doesn't completely suck. <laughs> the environments look really good, at least. The combat and hope and everything else. Honestly, everything except the music and some of the scenery. The music and the scenery uh, look like they're going to be amazing in Silent Hill 2 Remake or whatever, but... Yeah, the art style, visuals of the characters, the dialogue, the storytelling. They're probably going to fuck that up. It doesn't look very good in that regard. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see. Wait and see when it comes out. See what reviews are like and how people feel about it. I bet you it doesn't top the Ridge. It's sort of a lightning in a bottle. Original classic video game from around 2000. It's one of the greats around that time, you know, like Diablo 2 or Ocarina of Time, Golden Eye, Perfect Dark, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Final Fantasy 7, even 8 and 9 are really good, even 10 is really good, even though that dialogue is, I mean that voice acting is, <laughs> that voice acting is perfect actually, leave it alone. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here. I have to go... I have to go all the way up to the Carino Manor. God damn it. That's kind of a ways off. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I gotta get out there and deal with the tortoises soon enough, though, before 11-ish. Gotta water by then, because it, it gets a little too hot. It's getting too fucking hot now, dude. The plants are dying. My cucumbers, they're all going to be fucking dead in the next, like, week or two, for sure. This heat is way too aggressive. Like, God damn, dude, I'm getting fucked here. Yeah, the weather in Texas is rough. Cucumbers struggle. I put up shade cloth. I'm doing pruning. I'm bolstering the soil. I'm doing all kinds of extra fucking hard work here. And, yeah, it's a real bitch tell you. Is there a way to skip this boss? <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to skip the, the horse boss in Carino Manor. Gina Carano Manor. That dumbass. What a dumbass she is. But she can afford to be a dumbass. Apparently she's, like, always been rich. <laughs> Doesn't matter what she does with her life. She'll always be taken care of. What? I'm maxed out on Roa fruit? Been collecting too much of that crap. God damn. 
There's too much row of fruit in the game. You just sort of absorb it. That should be enough. I got a lot of these golden ones too. Oh man. Huh. I like how the difference is minimal. <laughs> Ooh, I like the icy ones. Do I ever use those for anything? No. Why do I even pick them up? Why? Why did I waste the effort to pick up hundreds of those fucking stupid things? Oh man, I've met my match. This army is too much for me. Now, oh, leave me alone. I missed. I missed. Slaughtered all these guys. Why am I picking up anything from you guys? Why do I even bother? I need to really organize my shit soon. Goddamn. 